Hi, so today I'm going to show you how to start using Robot C, and we're going to walk through the templates um, that the the template files that the program provides for both autonomous and tell. Um, so first, another thing you'll want to do. Um, setting out besides changing the menu level um, is go to robot and then platform type and then change it's going to be on lego mindstorms nxt or something else to begin with but you actually want it on lego nxt and tetrix ma slash matrix again which I've already done. Um, you'll also want to download the firmware um, on your NXT um, the first time you connect to it which I already have done um, but otherwise you are good to go with once you're done with that. Okay, so now we're switching over to the autonomous template, um, and we're going to walk through it. Um, so, up at the top, there's a lot of this um, pragma stuff, and ba basically you don't want to touch that, because otherwise the robot C doesn't like it. If, it. if this were, say, Xcode, you could do it deal with that kind of stuff um, but this is robot C so we cannot um, at least not in the coding window you, actually how you deal with this type of stuff is go to robot and then motors and sensors setup and basically um, you want to keep it on a custom configuration for this, so don't select a configuration. Um, okay, so how this works is that the LEGO NXT is where you upload your programs. And then from there um, to if, like, say I wanted to connect a motor to that. Um, well, basically what they've got these um high high technic um has these convenient little motor controller things that basically you hook can hook up to the NXT and they have a few different outputs and you can basically the main way to deal with add more output motor things is to chain those guys together and then add motors onto them. So, yeah. Um, we'll go into more depth on how that works um, during the, when we actually start building the robot. Okay, so moving right along in the autonomous file. Um, there's an include for joystick driver, which um, is supposed to handle the Bluetooth messaging from the field control system, which is basically what FTC uses to send messages to the robot to stop and start, basically. Um, more on that later. They have a lot of comments in this, so... I mean, if you want, you can delete them. Uh, then there's this void initialize robot, which, um, basically, as... Again, it's kind of self-explanatory via the comments, but... Um, basically, you place initialize servos there and 
I'll talk more about those in a later video. Um, and but yeah, um, and avoid. Be, obviously, this is a function um, which. Um, Again, I'll talk about it in a later video. Um, if you know what it is, awesome. But otherwise, yeah. <laughs> uh, and then here we've got where the program starts, task main. Um, so, initialize robot gets called. And then here we have the wait for start method. Now, this is important. Um, because um, this is basically where it basically this what this method does is it will tell the robot to wait until the field control system tells it to start that and that the match has begun. Um, at that point, the robot will start executing code you write after the wait for start method is called. Um, which is good in the competition, but if you're testing, you and you leave this uncommented, the robot is going to be sitting there and you will not be like, what the heck is going on here? So, basically, you c want to comment this out for testing. Uh, the, oh, yeah, of course. Duh. <laughs> okay. So, yeah. And after that, it's... There's a endless while loop. Um, uh, honestly, I have no idea why they include while loop instead of just um, adding just saying write your code and then ending the task. It's just that kind of there and if you want you can use it. it if the task in the autonomous period is repetitive, but it usually isn't. Um, so yeah. Um, so moving right along to telop here. Again, there's the configuration stuff, which you don't want to touch. And then joystick driver, which is especially important in this one for handling the controller stuff. I actually haven't handled the um, driver control code too much, so I could be wrong there, but the name seems kind of to imply that. And it's basically the same thing except with telop instead of autonomous and no while loop. Oh wait, no, actually this there is a while loop, it's just including all this guy. So yeah, that those are basically the templates. Um yeah. <laughs>